In terms of looking at progression, that is people that already have been diagnosed with glaucoma. There's no question that the OptiView unit is so important in helping me decipher if somebody's stable or not. The trend analysis screen that I look at on my EMR instantaneously gives me all of the data I need to identify if there's structural progression. I can look at the T-SNIT in relationship to the reference range. I can look at the T-SNIT in relationship to prior image acquisition. In addition, in a circular fashion, looking at each area within the optic nerve as well as each area within the GCC, the ganglion cell complex, I can identify if there's change. There's a screen that will allow me to look at six images in one screen to decipher if there's change over time. Lastly, but probably most importantly for me in my clinical practice, is there's a linear printout not only of the change over time, but how fast the change occurs. And this is very important because we know that in normal eyes, there's change. So to be able to look at the rate of change over time and to be able to identify if a particular individual has a faster rate rather than a slower rate of change might have implications for treatment as well. So again, there's a variety of parameters out there that can be quickly and efficiently looked at in your clinical practice that will help you decipher if there's change probably better than some of the standard ways that we looked for change in the past. That is looking at optic nerve photography or looking at visual field uh, sequential printouts. So it's become an integral part of deciphering whether glaucoma is stable or progressing. And lastly, helping me educate patients as to why we're making a therapeutic change.